delighted to be joined by Sean Murphy. First of all, a heartfelt congratulations from Robin Air. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, guys. Yeah, listen, a penny for your thoughts on what just transpired tonight. You can afford a penny because you've just earned 10 million of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, listen, you know, it was... Um, I expected an onslaught, but the way he started tonight was uh, bordering on ridiculous, I thought. You know, mm. the, some of the shots he went for were just, just outrageously brave, and they all went in. And uh, when you sat there and the guy's coming back at you and he's playing with, as if he hasn't got a care in the world, you know, my old manager, Brandon, who passed away last year, we used to call that dead man syndrome. Yeah. They come out and play like they've got nothing to lose, like a dead man. And uh, that's exactly what he did tonight. But that's how you've been playing. You've taken that attitude out in this tournament, which is fantastic. If we go back to frames uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 in particular, the four that you, you won on the bounce, let's, let's start at 15. When you were playing like someone... Look at this, Sean. This is the best of you. Yeah, I mean, I'd gone for a couple like that and not got them, missed them by a mile. Um, and I was... Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a great deal I could have done other than that, to be fair. I knew the, the yellow was waiting. Guilt-free. Um, yeah, guilt-free. This was a, a sort of a guided shot, getting past the blue anywhere. If the pot goes in, it was a bonus. But they're kind of shots that give you the initiative in the frame. Um, I went for the, the big brown here, didn't have to go for it, but, you know, you just get a sense that that's your moment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, pushed on. You, you were very positive, you know, and I think that generally is when you're at your best and, you know, you can't always feel confident, but you, you took your shots on. And I've noticed this week there's been, you know, a real sign that you're queuing a lot better. You've got your game back, really, and, uh, you know, there's been reasons, obviously, why, why you and a few others haven't done, but, you know, you've got your game back, I think, haven't you, now? Well, do you know, I've had so much time to practise because I haven't gone deep in any events that, mm. you know, quietly, I've been working on my game quite a lot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been putting the miles in, where allowed, obviously COVID-related. Been going up to practice in Antrim with Mark Allen when allowed. Mm. Been, been trying to get some games uh, where, where possible and really trying to tweak my game. So, um, yeah, it's been a terrible season, mm. but actually, quietly, I have been putting the yeah. work in. And... Yeah. Uh, it's so pleasing to see it come out. No one was saying Sean Murphy's going to win this title before the start of this tournament, which helps. And I just wonder, was this afternoon between sessions psychologically a moment where you felt a bit of pressure? Because you just said already tonight, you said, I was expecting an onslaught from him. Mm. It was quite hard to go out there and just wear that crown of being 10-6 up. It felt for you, everything seemed to shrink a little bit at the start of tonight. Yeah, of course, it was a strange one, Colin, because we are out there all on our own. The other match had finished with yeah. a session to spare. It's just us. That's not how it should have been. Mm. Um, you know, it felt as if maybe some of the patrons had partaken in some of the hospitality this afternoon they were they were a bit you know there was a bit like come you know it was a bit like that so it yeah. all made for a great atmosphere yeah um but yeah i mean listen in an ideal world i would have had the match carry on this afternoon i was in full flight the yeah. last thing i wanted to do was stop wait and think about it for two hours correct um and it's that funny back-to-back -back session you know that mm. someone gets it every year and mm. this year it was us mm. well, when when it went 11 all we we were saying in our mm. frame by frame analysis on the eurosport app that maybe this is what sean needs almost He's not the front runner. He's not expected now to knock out the world number one. It didn't quite start that way, though. If we have a look at this red that uh, nearly nearly took out uh, half of our commentary team, but yeah, yeah I mean, it, it looks like I've slapped it because it's jumped off the table. But I mean, that that shouldn't really be jumping off the table. That was a funny one. Um, Did you feel at that stage, dear? But this this was you had to seize this. Well, this was a much more hard, much more difficult shot than it looked, and I was watching him actually as he stepped in to play it. You know, there was no hesitation. He got on with it and played it, um, and tried to keep his rhythm, and that that gave me that chance to kind of, you know, shake away what had gone on in the previous hour or so. And I was really proud of this effort. Yeah, you're coming off the back of a 67, uh, 111, if my memory serves me right. So you've been sitting in your seat for a long amount of time. That, that's he, that, that, he won't he won't play himself this coming, but that just took so much balls, didn't it, that break? Yeah, no, definitely. Listen, I, I, there's no doubt. Look, he's been in three world finals. He's been a world champion, Sean. He knows, so he knows what's required here. Yeah. Even that couple of hours gap where it's uncomfortable, that's all part of being here. The double session someone gets happened yeah. to be you. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those things. But you, you're, you've been there and you know what's coming. So, And you know it's uncomfortable when you can be in front, but it's more uncomfortable when you 10-6 down, isn't it? That's well, like, the bottom line. Yeah, I can assure you it's much harder than having the journey home, having lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's much more, that's yeah. much worse. So yeah. I'm thrilled to be here, thrilled to be chatting to you guys, thrilled to be through and yeah. can't wait. Yeah, let's have a look at how well. you saw it out because what a way to do it. You, you know, the, the hardest frame to win is the last one, isn't it? Let's take a look at well, it. Wasn't sure
sure actually in this frame about this shot whether you could have played on the yeah. loose red. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, it, it <laughs> just it had just finished where I couldn't play for them in the middle and I couldn't zip past them for them in the right. corner. Mm -hmm. It finished horrible and I was like, well, I'm going to hit them at pace. There's only four of them. I'm bound to be on one of them. Yeah. yeah. Of course I wasn't. <laughs> I bet you were pleased to see this going. Yeah. No. I was. I was. I was over the moon to see this kick round the angles. <laughs> uh, reminded me of the pink I flew to win the UK Championships actually in yeah. 2008. That was yeah. very similar. I mean, you know that he can clear these <laughs> because he's done it before. He's, he's awkward. He's overstretched. Yeah, I, I was. Cannon. I, I, I was the most surprised person in the room when he missed mm. that. I, I just expected him to do what he does and uh, what world number ones do. But yeah. you know, um, I was thrilled at the end and relieved. Yeah. No. Isn't it fantastic that you know we we went into every big tournament talking about three players, but instead it's this type of celebration that we're seeing. It's Selby doing exactly the same thing. Two players, it, it feels like you both came in from the cold in this tournament. I just wonder, is the Chris Henry connection there a, a big part of that? Well, that was, that, there's no question, you know, in my opinion, Chris Henry is the man. And certainly in terms of, you know, when you're out there with those numbskulls, you know, as you were sat watching your mm. opponent clear up, you know, those thoughts in your in your mind can get very negative. And, uh, you know, Chris, as well as being a great technician and, and an advisory coach on how to pop mm. balls, mm. Uh, really, you know, fixes you between the ears. Mm. And, um, you know, he's been in my corner now for seven or eight years. Yeah. And uh, I'm much better for it. Be an interesting dynamic, you know, we're not going to jump the gun here, but if you were to play Mark in the final, then what happens then? Does he dart from dressing room to dressing room? You know, that's an interesting Sack one, him. isn't it? Sack him, you got no, him. No, but no, uh, Terry Griffiths be all that kind of thing. He's out, isn't he? He's out. Yeah, no, listen, I, you know, Mark comes second, it's in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you just give him duff information. Neither, ne neither Chris or Mark know that. <laughs> <laughs> and the contract's currently being written as we speak. But, uh, listen, yeah. that's the way the cookie crumbles. Worry about that later, I, just I like, I just like, they'd like to be a fly on the wall, it's either him or me. Yeah, that's Make right. Make your yeah. decision, <laughs> and that's it. Um, I've so much I want to talk to you about, but I'm worried of time, and I've definitely got to let you go at some stage. Um, you, I think, it was it two matches since the final, Neil, well, since coming in here? Well, um, I watched Logan one Howe, and I think you might mm. have beaten, um, well, you won one other match, basically, since you got to the final, lost to Stuart, mm. Mm. won mm. two matches at this venue. So mm. yeah, you nice. came here, oh. it, well, it, it was lots of great memories, but not anything recently. Do you know, I was thinking about that because, you know, I, you make your pilgrimage here every year. It is so special. Um, but, yeah, since 2015, it's been a bit of a hellhole for me. Yeah. You know, I haven't, I haven't enjoyed it at all. There's been loss after bad defeat, after bad performance. Playing here in front of nobody, losing to Nopan Sankam last yeah. year was one of the worst days of my life. Yeah. And uh, to come yeah. full circle with yeah. the crowds back, the fans are back, uh, and to be playing some good stuff is... Uh, the icing on the cake. Yeah, yeah. well done, well done. And you know, you put all that science aside and you put the shots just fine. Do you know how we know that you're in the right place? You walk around that table like you're in some sort of morning drill at Buckingham <laughs> Palace. The stomp <laughs> is back. And it's been really good to see. So thank you very much. I'll say goodbye and then we'll let you go. Well done today.